Let's talk about the reopening and reconnection with the mainland. Can you quantify what that will mean for your business this year? Yeah, um, hi, good morning. Um, I think um, we have um, uh, somewhat se seen some uh, signs of stabilization in the second half of uh, 2022 with uh, you know, uh, a lot of the social distancing measures uh, lifting in, in Hong Kong. And um, uh, starting from the beginning of the year, like in January and February, um, you know, we are like gradually opening up with, um, with China. And now like we're fully opened up with China, uh, we can see like tourists coming in. Um, if we look at the, uh, the, the um, retail sales of Hong Kong um, that was released yesterday for January, um, uh, the retail sales is up around 7%. And we also see um, tourists actually uh, tripling um, between uh, February this year and January this year. So although it might take some time for uh, you know, tourists to be back to um, you know, um, historical levels, but um, I think um, you know, with, the, uh, gradu uh, you know, with uh, more and more people coming to Hong Kong, and you know, traditionally with um, you know, a third of Hong Kong's retail sales made up of tourists, uh, we think that um, you know, uh, from, you know, from uh, tourists coming to Hong Kong, um, this will uh, give a significant boost to the retail sales in Hong Kong. Mm. You know, no one can escape rising interest rates around the globe at the moment, it seems. And, uh, and the world over, we're seeing uh, mortgage holders, uh, tenants, shops, restaurants, you name it. Everybody uh, is feeling the pressure and in some cases even asking for leniency. To what degree are you experiencing and hearing about stress amongst your, your portfolio tenants? Yeah, um, I guess uh, two things. Uh, one is that the interest cost and, of course, um, you know, the inflation as well. Um, you know, on the cost side, um, this has an impact on us and also on the tenants as well. So uh, we try to work hand in hand and see how we can uh, actually improve the cost efficiencies. Um, looking at our own portfolio, um, if, in terms of interest cost, um, we have been uh, pretty good at, um, you know, managing our, our, our interest costs. Um, now we have around 62% of our interest that is hedged to fixed rate. So, um, you know, um, that, that we're, we're quite lucky in that sense. Um, so any fluctuations would um, only be um, impacting a minority part of our loan portfolio. And then on top of that, um, we, we actually don't have um, much refinancing to do in the next two years. Um, we only have around 16% of our loans that is due in October this year, and we don't have any refinancing needs next year. So this provides uh, quite a, you know, a stable um, you know, financial base for us to, uh, to move forward um, you know, with, with the re reopening of, the, um, of, of Hong Kong.